All right, so today I'm going to be talking about some of the fishing lures um, that have been working down here in Naples, Florida, and even Marco Island, and going over even some of the gear that I like to use for safety reasons um, as a precaution and all that as well. Um, over on the right side, um, two of my main lures that have been working really well is the x trap, the bucktail jig, and over on the left side, some of the fishing lures that basically have been recommended by some of the locals, some of the fishing lures that I've used up north in Michigan that have worked but aren't working so well, and some new lures that I've recently bought yesterday, such as these LNR Custom Swim Baits. And I can't wait to try out those tomorrow. Um, but I just kind of want to go over this. Um, since I didn't get out today, I'm kind of resting. Um, yesterday I got out fishing. Boy, it was like a long walk to over Naples Beach. Um, it's like a two mile walk, two mile back. And I had to go over to Ace Hardware yesterday. I also went to Serenity. So I'm a little worn out today, but I still want to have today, still have a little fun today and make a video just talking about some of the fishing layers that have been working, you know, over these, uh, you know, the previous two months, uh, March and February. Um, right off the bat, I want to say if you come down here to Florida, um, you kind of want to buy fishing lures that basically have the two main colors that seem to be working is both white and pink. Um, I was recommended pink, but because white has been working so well that I've been just sticking with it. But I have been also catching a few jacks and ladyfish on this pink bucktail jig, but white for this bucktail jig and white for uh, the Rapella Axe Wrap has been dynamite. I mean, it's basically, I would say, the perfect color that mimics, you know, any type of prey down here, any type of standard uh, fish. White in general works really good even in fresh water up in Michigan, you know, the Great Lakes such as Lake St. Clair. So I'm really not surprised. This is like your standard color that seems to work really well down here in salt water for Naples, Florida, and even Marco Island. Um, these bucktail jigs, it's all around great economic lure to buy. Um, if you're looking to catch some of the smaller fish, I would say such as jack, ladyfish. Um, you can actually tie into some bluefish. I've caught some bluefish on these bucktail jigs. Um, this is a really good economical bait to start off with and start off catching some little smaller fish. But just caution. I'm forewarning you, one of the dudes at Ace Hardware told me you can hook into some nice sized tarpon with these smaller jigs as well. So don't be fooled, they can catch big fish. But for me, you know, when I was using them, I was catching a lot of late ladyfish, jacks. Again, I did hook into some bluefish. I went with the 3 8 ounce. Some people use quarter ounce. I like a 3 8 ounce, get out further. You know, I'm fishing from the shoreline mainly, so I wanna get as much distance I can with my cast and cover as much ground as I can and I can cast this baby a mile with 20, 20 pound braid um, I can get a lot of distance uh, Northern Mike taught me that just you know wader fishing over at Kent Lake uh, getting out further with the waders using braid where you can cast further I think that all makes a difference even when you're saltwater fishing down here uh, uh, for, you know, snook and jacks and all these different uh, saltwater species. So, those, I mean, basically those two colors and starting off with those jigs, um, great way to start off saltwater fishing down here. But the lure that has been working for me the best, I want to say, is the Rapella Axe Wrap. Um, there's two versions you can buy. Um, the XX, SXR10 and the XR10. So, you know, the saltwater version, basically the hooks are galvanized, so they're gonna hold up better. Um, but one thing I kind of like, uh, you can see the lip is missing on this one, about the XR10 um, is it has this little bucktail in back. It's got a little uh, glitter, flashy glitter in it. And I think that adds a little act little more action to it as well um but the problem with that tail is after you catch like you know 15 or 20 or so jacks they tear it up and it doesn't last long i assume that's why they don't 
edit on the SX R10, the saltwater version on the X-Wrap. I would say either one of these is great to buy. Um, even though, you know, the lip's broken on this one, um, and it's broken on this one as well, they hold up really well. Don't let this fool you. You know, I ended up buying a Yozuri because it was rec recommended by one of the dudes at Ace Hardware. And I could tell that dude's really experienced. But here's the thing. I hit the bridge twice uh, with the Yozuri and the lip cracked real easily. And so, you know, that's that. This basically <laughs> jerk bait is basically unusable. Maybe I can use the hooks and all that. So it didn't hold up too well. It gave off a really good action, but it didn't hold up. The great thing about these x wraps is they hold up pretty well. Um, I cracked the, this against a bridge probably like, I want to say 15 to 20 times, and it didn't break. I think on like the 22nd time it ended up, I break, broke a lip on them. Um, but it, it's pretty resilient. I mean, check out just oh, the, all the teeth marks up, uh, you know, on top of here. I mean, this thing has been through hell and back. I mean, it's been through a lot. Um, I caught... I think this is the one I caught, I, I want to say like 50 jacks one day, um, two snook, uh, nice size redfish, and I've been using this in previous days, so I caught, caught a lot of fish, but even the plastics, uh, you know, I, and I think I shook off a jack and I cracked the plastic using my pliers, but it's been through a lot. It just goes to show how well these axe wraps work. Um, but I think, you know, they still hold up pretty good, especially for the price uh, you pay. I, I would r highly recommend it over a Yozuri any day, and that's one I've been using. Another thing I want to say, um, here's an X, XR, SXR10 that's basically new comparing it to SXR12, is the SXR10 or XR10, I think they move through the water better, they give a, a better action. Um, when you're jerking them because it's a smaller profile um, I think this one is let's see SXR 12 is four and three quarters and um, the SXR 10 is a uh, four inches uh, flat out but it moves through the water a lot better it really you can get this baby when you you're uh, cracking that whip uh, jerking your rod you can really get it to turn around do all types of different uh, things in the water when you're jerking it this you got to give it a lot more power it wears you out and i don't think it moves through the water as hydrodynamically it does as the smaller profile the sx r10 um you know i would still recommend uh buying some of these because like i said in the previous video i made that's how i got one of my biggest snook to start off near the bridge bigger lures means bigger fish so even though this can kind of wear you out jerking it, it definitely works your wrist and hand a lot harder. Um, it's harder to jerk. It doesn't move through the water as swiftly, like I said, um, as a SXR10, but you can catch some giant fish with this. So I think it's good to have both. Um, I would recommend buying both. And even, you know, the freshwater version, whichever one, one you want to buy. Um, but I still... I just I like the XX XR10 or the XX SXR10 a lot better. It just moves through the water a lot better, and that's what I like. Um, you've seen one of the first videos I bought. I bought this Subwalker. Uh, the Twitch and Minnow gives off a really good action. Um, something you could use basically in the brackish water where it's a lot murkier, where you can keep it up top there, and you can see this strikes just like. Uh, there's there a spook you can see the follow-ups um, a lot of fun to use um, it'd be also a great investment if you want to uh, you know they have the glass ghost color in the x-ray I honestly haven't tried this on the beach yet it might be worth trying like in the morning the one dude was telling me is a spook you can get the giant snook to hit that bigger Zara spook in the morning um, one of the best investments you can make um, I would say even if you're down here just for a few days, you want to buy replacement treble hooks. Because if you have a day like I had catching like those 50 jacks, two snook, and a redfish, they really wore down uh, the tips of the hooks and even the barbs I could feel. I was losing fish at the end of the day. 
and I had these replacement VMC hooks I should have uh, used and even they bend out the hooks man they even bend out the hooks on these and I was bending them back with my Shimano long nose needle nose pliers here and so it's good to buy some replacement hooks because if they wore down they bend or they even break I had one hook break after catching one jack and I was catching two jacks at once which was insane so it's good to have some replacement hooks um so basically you know I've covered those are two of the main I wouldn't say baits that work really well for me down here in Florida is the x wrap jerk bait and the Monty's bucktail jigs and the 3 8 ounce so those are two great fishing lures that I know work and I would highly recommend um I would basically also if you want to get into using live bait buy some good hooks um I ended up buying I took back those seven odd hooks those owner hooks I bought in that previous video they exchange them uh for these LNR custom ba uh, swim baits but I went over to Ace Hardware and bought an eight odd hook Gamagatsu octopus style so Hopefully these will work really well for using that live ladyfish and I was told looking at some of the YouTube videos instead of hooking them that way on their back hook them on an angle too uh, kind of you know f facing towards their head so I'm going to try that I'll try these eight aughts um, I just wanted to go a step above the seven aught and I think they're going to work really well um, and if you want to even cut up the ladyfish I've heard using a five out hook is really good for throwing those chunks but i tried that believe it or not i tried it for like a half hour tossing those chunks right in front of those big snook right at that rocky area that point there at marco island for those snook and they didn't want anything to do with it so sometimes you just really have to use the whole live bait and they're inhaling that whole live ladyfish so hopefully that bigger hook will work i recommend picking up some hooks um if you come down here uh, that way you can use some live bait um if you're using pin fish you really don't have to use any of the size of these hooks you can use a like a two out or a one out hook circle hook if you want whatever i just like the regular standard j hooks um so getting on some of the fishing layers that i thought would work some of the lures that i've been recommending some of the recent layers i just bought um, talking about the chatterbait, this works so well in Great Lakes, Lake St. Clair, some of the smaller inland lakes like Kent Lake smokes the largemouth bass. I thought this would be a dynamite lure to use um, over here in saltwater. I tried it in the canals, didn't get anything, tried it um, even at Marco Island up here over there, didn't get anything. I don't want to give up on this totally, but it seems like in these pre-spring months in the winter, like February and March, you kind of want to throw something that's going to get a re reaction strike. And so the jerkbait has been working and even working those jigs like a jerkbait has working. Uh, but they didn't want anything to do with the chatterbait, which surprised me. And I really thought um, this striking redfish magic spinnerbait would work really well just like the beetle spin has worked really well for me up in lake st Clair and some of the inland lakes as well but i casted this uh you know the first week quite a bit in the canals i didn't get anything i haven't tried this out on the surf so maybe you might get something i didn't try it even at marco island but for the most part i tried a lot over in the canals that even near that bridge there and i didn't get anything so i mean it is what it is. I thought a spinner bait like this would work. Um, I thought he'd get some fish right off the bat, but it hasn't been too successful. And those were two of the fishing lures that I wanted to try buying myself um, that I thought would work. But that, that goes along though with the X-Wrap. I bought that in the package over at Dick's with the X-Wrap that I thought the X-Wrap would work and it did. But there's other baits, like I said, over here that spinner bait and that chatter bait I thought would work but didn't but you want a wide variety of fishing lures to choose from when you come down here honestly you do um you can sp you know sp just get out and spend around 50 bucks and you can get assortment lures and i still think even though white and red and those style fishing lures the jerk bait and the jig have been working 
when I start getting into these swim baits and even this bucktail jig, they can work for certain times as well. You know, it's just <clears throat> because I mean, what I'm getting at here is I came across a dude next to me. He just couldn't believe how much I was smoking like the Jack and some of the snook over at Marco Island with the X strap. And he was basically throwing the spoon all day long. And he kept throwing the spoon. I'm like thinking, man, he doesn't have any fishing lures. He told me at the end of the night, well, man, the spoon always works for me. You know, as I explained to him, even though the spoon is pretty much an all around great lure to throw, it'll work through all four seasons. It, it You still want a wide variety of fishing lures to choose from. You really do. Um, I think it's good to have three or four different lures to choose from even more but I just can't believe how that dude just kept throwing a spoon and it, he expected just doing the same thing over and over again and at least get something but I'm sure it works I mean a spoon goes all the way back to the you know the 40s 50s and 60s fishermen have been using this but using that type style lure but it it just again it's a you need a wide variety of fishing lures to choose from. Getting to this flare hawk jig, um, you know, I don't know if that's basically just a brand name, but I basically just call these style bucktail jigs that have this, you know, different colored flared out bucktail right here, a flare hawk jig. I think it is, but I'm just gonna go with it because that's basically what me, my brother, and some of a lot of my other friends called those list, lipless crankbaits back in the day. You know, Strike, Strike King makes a lipless, but we all just call them rattle traps. So I'm just calling this a flare hawk jig. I think that's what most saltwater fishermen call it, but it's actually a jig by Jam Fam Jigs. And these give off pretty good action. Um, I don't know what they're supposed to mimic, but even though this hasn't worked very well, I'll say this, I had the biggest snook I've ever seen fall up my fishing lure, and that goes for even using the x wrap I mean, it was monstrous. If I had hooked into it, that, that would have been my PB snook, man. It would have smoked all the other snooks I called, or I, 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 I caught. So I'm not giving up on this, even though um, I basically haven't caught anything on it, on it yet. I've been throwing, I kept throwing. I went over to Naples Beach yesterday and I was throwing, didn't get a hit, nothing. You know, I had that follow up that's enough to tell me that it will work, but I know these work because I've seen a lot of YouTube fishermen use them for snook and they've gotten some monsters with them. Um, but so far I haven't had much success with them yet. I'm gonna keep at it. Maybe I'll throw this blue one next. Uh, just to mix up the color ratio um, but you know the thing is what I do want to say and I talked about this the benefit of having the x wrap since this suspends you can really just um, when you have a follow-up you can just stop it and it stays right there in the column water column right where that fish is and give it like you know two to three seconds and you can twitch it and get them to strike when i had that big snook follow up this uh flare hawk jig there wasn't much it can do and you know just keep the momentum going and hopefully he hits it and if i let it basically i could have let it sink to the bottom and let it sit there at the bottom he could have sucked it up that way i could have got a snag on the rocks but i honestly don't think he would have followed it i really don't um, it just, that's what I'm getting at is, you know, some of these fishing lures have unique qualities of them. That's another quality of the x wrap since the suspends. Um, you can't do that with these jigs or even these swim bait jigs. And once you get a follow up, all you can do is keep having the momentum going. I mean, like if I was on a boat, I probably could do like a figure eight or circles, but I don't know if that works on this snook just like it does for musky but when you're fishing from the shoreline all you can do is keep working that jig until you reel it up um nice thing an x drop you can stop it let it sit there and keep slightly twitching it. and that's how i ended up getting one snook to hit right near the shoreline at marco beach um just letting it sit there suspend 
and then twitch it and he hit it but it just sucks i couldn't do anything with that monster snook because i still have that image in my head but anyways enough of that i just i can keep going over it and over and it just just it was a big snook let's just leave it at that um onto these hyper elastics um dart spins it's basically a similar similar uh bladed swim bait to the sweet six shed spin blade um you know these are very popular over in europe these style of bladed swim baits i think they're just starting to make some of these over here in the states and this is hyper elastics version i think i remember seeing this on the uh icast awards one of the years um but it's still a very new swim bait um you know i ended up buying the seven inch version and the 3.5 inch version the first week i was here i was throwing both of them didn't get anything um but here's the thing doesn't mean it doesn't work because i talked to one of the dudes at serenity he says he uses the 4.5 and has a lot of success with them i wish they had it in the white um this is kind of bluish white or silverish but they're all out of the 4.5 so that tells me it works you know it's a popular lured use over here in the snook they're all out of most of the colors i wish i could have got it in a white version such as the 3.5 but i just got what they had so i'm not going to give up on this um even though it hasn't worked for me um i tried it over at the marco pier tried it in the canal i kept with with it for a good few days and i just couldn't get anything to bite and so i started throwing that um extra salt sub walker and that's how i got my first jack to hit um going on to these lnr custom swim baits pretty neat man um these are custom these aren't made by any like really big brand of fishing company made by the one dude that works at serenity uh bait company he actually pours his own swim baits using uses he said he uses a special um, soft plastic material. Um, as you can see, he adds his own like 3D prism eyes to it. I really like the color. Um, you know what? I wish he had the white version, white color in the six inch, but I ended up just getting the pink because that that's all there was. I think there's another color, but again, pink and white are two of the main colors you want to go with down here uh, for snook tarp and a lot of the other species of fish as well but this is a really cool swim bait that i can't wait to try um when I, last time i was over at marco island i was throwing the extra that one last day i didn't get any snook um the guy next to me was using a swim bait like this he ended up getting in a snook so that tells me that swim baits work um i can't wait to throw this over at naples beach because last time was over there yesterday i was using the x wrap all day long and i just ended up getting like three jacks um a mackerel and a pelican <laughs> believe it or not and no i didn't get the pelican on the x wrap i was using a uh, lady fish's live bait and I finally hooked in my first pelican uh, maybe i'll have to post that video up soon uh but these are, this is a really cool custom swim bait to try out you can all head over to strenny baits they have a variety of different jigs to pair them up with um it's just the standard you know paddle tail design that gives off a really good action it's a really soft material so it gives off a really good action i know this guy i talked to him i want to say for a good hour about fishing and i can tell he knows his stuff so i'm not surprised he makes a really good soft plastic swim bait because a lot of other dudes at the shop was recommending it too and i ended up buying the six inch swim bait version the dude at the shop said he tied into a nice size tarpon they go over at the marco island bridge came off um these are actually two-tone it's like reddish right here and then pink on top of course the big 3d prism eye just show you the action and these do have slots or slits where you know the where you add in the hook so it's either to it's easier to put the hook through um and when the fish hit i think that flexes and it's easier to get a better hook set so um anyways um so i'm looking to basically pair those swim baits off with 
these L Gags Whippet heads. Um, I bought a three quarter ounce version for the six inch swim bait, also a three eighth ounce um, version for the four inch. And believe it or not, these have like 3D eyes on them too. So I'm like, I have quadrupled eyes. Um, you know, I can actually probably pick these eyes out if I want to. They're probably just glued on, but I mean, I'll just try it with the eyes, see, see if it works. Um, let's see, on to, I think I've covered basically all the fishing lures that I've tried out down here. Next, on to the gear I use. Um, if you're going for snook, I think for any saltwater species for that matter, I think it's good to invest in some uh, fluorocarbon line as a leader um, because a lot of saltwater fish have teeth. I like the cigar, it's reasonably priced. 40 pound is what I recommend. I use, you know, this spool came with 100 yards and I think it was like six or seven bucks at Ace Hardware. So cigar is one of the more cheaper, but they do have, they have all types of different, they got premium, uh, fluorocarbon. This is more the cheaper version. I don't know the difference. I just went with the cheaper version and it holds up pretty good. And the main thing is the fluorocarbon, you know, the fish don't see it. You know, these snook are so finicky, folks. I think even the bigger ones, they've caught, been caught numerous times uh, over the years. And so as they get older, they get smarter. Um, and so I highly recommend using fluorocarbon. And, you know, after every fishing expedition, um, talking about uh, reel maintenance, I'll rinse my reel off. I'll even rinse the guides, my whole rod off everything even like my handle because it gets gooped up with the scales and that slime from the fish after i handle them i even do what northern mike recommends is i dip i dip my reel in the tub for about five minutes and then basically afterwards uh take it out you know clean it off but every so often i i think it's good to use some grease and oil uh, grease is for the gears and the drag and the oil would be for the handle the bearings and so I've already done that after fishing with that dial rod and reel combo for three weeks and so that's why I highly recommend picking that up if you're going to come down here for a good month or two of saltwater fishing and one of the best investments you can make for safety is buying a good set of long needle nose Shimano pliers. I highly recommend Shimano with anything when it comes to fishing, but these needle nose pliers come in handy, keeping you away from those toothy little critter fish or like the blue fish, even those jacks, man. Those jacks got some sharp teeth on them and you always wanna check your fluorocarbon line every so often. You start getting too many necks, change it out. But this separates you from the fish. You're able to basically unhook the fish a lot faster and gives you more time to fish. And all I think all in all, you're gonna get out and catch more fish if you got a good set of players and you can unhook those fish if you're catching them one after another. And this is what helped me catch. I wanna say like, I, I felt like 50 jacks in one day. So I think it's good to invest in a good set of long needle, ne needle nose players. And, and when it comes to protecting yourself from the florida sun the sun down here is brutal you know it gives you vitamin d when i first came down here from the winter weather in michigan not getting any sun um i was just felt like i was <laughs> wasting away in that cold environment i came down here got exposed to the sun i sprouted right up i started jogging felt a lot better um doing push-ups and all that um but you still want to have sun protection, you know, get a good hat, of course, decent sunglasses to protect uh, your eyes from the sun rays because it even bounce off the water. Um, one of the most important things I think a lot of fishermen forget and a lot of fishermen aren't in tune to uh, is wearing a neck gaiter. I think this is a great investment. Um, it, it, it allows you to get out fishing a lot more often and you're not going to get as much sun exposure you might not get as worn out i think you won't get as worn out because there comes a time where once that sun beats down you for a long period of time too much sun exposure is a bad thing and you you kind of want to just go lay down on the beach or something 
this prevents all that you, you know you can fish a lot longer um this vents a lot better depending on what brand you bought um buy i bought the buff brand and this vents pretty well the material they use is pretty elastic um it stretches and stuff so i actually like it a lot better than the brand i bought at bass pro and what i use when i'm musky and bass fishing on lake st Clair. but this is a great investment like i said um you can fish for a lot longer and in the long run you're gonna catch a lot more fish so buy a net gator if you do some uh salt water fishing down here in florida and I, that pretty much covers everything i wanted to recommend some of you guys if you plan on saltwater fishing you know some of these things you don't really need um but i still <laughs> recommend fluorocarbon i just love that stuff long nose, long nose needle pliers is a must um i i just out of the two lures i would recommend out of all this stuff from my experience i would just buy the xr10 x wrap or the xxr10 and um also you know a few of these three eighth ounce money jigs so those are my two favorite lures that i would recommend fishing down here and you can have a lot of fun and again white get white glass ghost is awesome i mean just the way that when you jerk this and that flickers that like that flash in there it's like some type of uh reflective mater plastic material in there it just drives a fish nuts i know with time it's gonna lose that uh because you know all the teeth marks even the hook marks as you jerk in this um but even though it's still white i think it still gives off a really good you know uh, uh color in the water especially since the water is very clear down here now I'll, I'll say this too though i mean not everywhere i've been fishing the water's been crystal clear so that's why i said using an x wrap in a previous video and clear water is so beneficial you can see those fish follow-ups and you can stop this and let the fish hit it you know the combination of the clear water and the suspending x wrap is is a huge benefit but i mean i couldn't see uh the snook following up this x wrap over near the bridge in that brackish water i couldn't see anything even when those fish jumped out i mean i just saw a glimpse of them a little whitish and like i think i did see a line across the back on the one and that was it um but you can't in that brackish water what sucks is you can't see it but i still think x wrap is a great lure to use in brackish water no matter what anyways thank you guys for watching as always be sure to subscribe tight lines anglers and take care